Problems with GPS interference over Baltics are nothing new. An investigation by journalists of the British newspaper The Sun claims more than 4,000 flights with problems in satellite navigation in the Baltic region between August 2023 and the end of March 2024. Russia uses jamming and spoofing, experts say. Jamming suppresses signal from satellites, including GPS and Galileo, and spoofing uses fake signals to fool pilots into thinking they are somewhere else. Such jamming can cause plane crashes. If you have any doubts about the GPS, you can contact the dispatcher, but due to the huge amount of flying, they simply can't manage a large number of aircraft and it's even more dangerous. Jamming, spoofing and ways of distorting satellite signals, communication signals means that they are not so intense yet, but they can lead to any consequences. According to Jack Watling, a military expert of the Royal United Institute for Defense Studies, this is how the Russian Federation seeks to protect the Kaliningrad region and northwestern regions from possible drone attacks. However, many analysts believe that Russia's real intentions are more aggressive. A few years ago, there was a very popular thesis on Russian state channels that Gotland Island in the Baltic Sea could be captured by Russian forces. So I don't exclude that such blocking is in test mode, but may have some big long-term goal. In March 2024, even a British Royal Air Force plane carrying Defense Secretary Grant Shapps on his way back from Poland was hit by Russian electronic warfare system. According to the Times, there was no GPS signal for about half an hour as the plane flew over the Baltic Sea near the Kaliningrad region. Shapps' assistant called the attack, quote, extremely irresponsible. What the response will be is not yet known. Russian civil aviation is under sanctions. International Civil Aviation Organization has already imposed a number of restrictions that prohibit the supply of aircraft, its parts and services to the Russian Federation. It makes no sense for Europe to suppress it, because the creation of all these problems is more similar to the methods of a terrorist state. Most likely, Europe will send some diplomatic protest notes or some restrictions to Russia. Or maybe our civil aviation will look towards the development of antennas that will be more resistant to signal suppressions. Russia is also using electronic warfare systems in the occupied Crimea. The Ukrainian Presidential Representative Office in the Autonomous Republic of Crimea reported problems with communication and navigation in a number of settlements. In Simferopol and Sevastopol, the signal is jammed round the clock. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.